what's up? Hey guys, I'm Courtney Klein. I am a physical therapist assistant at Loud Sports Therapy Center. Um, what you may not know about me is that I also run Volunteer Rescue Squad here in Loudoun County, specifically with Sterling Rescue. Um, I have been doing this, it'll be five years in September, so I am an EMT in the state of Virginia, but it is all volunteer. Um, one of the biggest things that they teach us at the beginning, we actually go through, here at Sterling Rescue, we go through a year worth of training. Um, and the first thing they teach you is the safety of yourself, myself, um, and your crew and the patient. Um, outside of that too, if we were to get hurt or anything on scene, um, or trying to get ready for a call or something like that, we're not actually able to help a patient. So one of the biggest things that they teach you is specific body mechanics so you don't hurt yourself. Again, if I'm hurt, I can't help somebody who calls and actually needs help. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys today is what is near and dear to my heart um, and is actual specific body mechanics so I don't hurt my back when I'm on, um, on duty, let alone in the, in the workplace or anything like that. Um, so I was going to show you inside the ambulance and kind of the stuff that we take out to go on to a call. So when you open the door, um, the first thing when you come inside, here on the right are bags that we take into somebody's house. Um, there are two things. There are bags that we take inside that has everything that's in the ambulance. Stuff that's in the ambulance is stuff that we use when the patient is actually in here on the cot and the bags are what we take into someone's house. So when you go to take um, a bag inside, one of the biggest things is physics wise, if you have a longer lever arm, your body has to use more power in order to lift something. So if something is further away from me, it's going to pull me down and potentially put more strain on my lower back because um, it's further away from my body. So when you take something out, whether it be a bag here or at home or at work and you're picking up a box, you want it closer to your body. So if I go to take a bag out, I'm going to keep it close to my body and either I'm going to step out and take it inside or I'm going to step up here and put it on the cot for us to take outside. We used to use manual cots where we'd have to have somebody actually bring the legs down. These are power cots now, so there's a button that releases it. Um, unfortunately though, because of all that stuff that's in there, um, they're heavier, um, so you really have to worry about body mechanics with this. So when I pull it close, before I even take it out, I'm keeping it close to my body again, because if I am out here, I have to use more power to have to hold it out, and there's more potential to hurt my lower back. So I keep it close to me, and I come straight out. I'm able to pull it out safely. Pull it down just a little bit. And then I can steer by keeping it close to me. Um, in general, with something that is heavy, whether it be a person on a cot, um, or anything that you're carrying. If it's too heavy, don't do it by yourself. You should always have a second person. So if there was somebody on here, um, we would always have two people to be able to help because it's not safe for you, but it's also not safe for the patient. So if you have any questions about physical therapy or if you have back pain, give us a call on Sports Therapy Center 703-450-4300. Thanks. Have a great day.